Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Thoughts. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell so you're notified of all my new content. Today my Daily Thoughts is on the Holiday Blues. So now let's get into my Daily Thoughts. The Holiday Blues. The stress of the festive season often triggers a whole range of uncomfortable feelings, which includes sadness, anger, and fear for many people. This is so difficult a time because there is a high expectation of everyone having to feel merry and of course, be generous. There are an endless list of things that make the season to be merry very difficult for many of us. Here are some reasons. The fear of not enough money. That includes fear of not having enough money to buy important gifts. Leads to unnecessary pressure and a set of difficult feelings that include sadness, anger, and guilt. The stress of financial challenges is often compounded by shame. When you can't afford to celebrate, it can feel very disempowering. High levels of anxiety and stress shopping at this time of the year and planning family dinners when you're already overstretched and exhausted. Those missing deceased loved ones have more reason to grieve during the holidays. If you're recently divorced or broken off a relationship, Christmas may remind you of happier times together and potentially amplify your sense of collective loss and sadness. It's normal to feel the stress of gift giving, financial burdens, hosting, social situations, family dynamics, past memories to live up to, and travel. For someone with anxiety, these typical stressors are intensified and may even become unbearable. Whether you're concerned over your own mental health this time of the year or for someone else's, there are many signs that are important to take seriously the risks to your own mental health or another's. Excessive worries that don't go away or that just shift into other worries. Perhaps It's preoccupation with events that have already passed or events yet to come. Physical anxiety symptoms such as shortness of breath, rapid heartbeat, shaking, dizziness, sweating, an upset stomach, a dry mouth, and restlessness. Panic attacks that feel like intense loss of control. 
They can include feeling faint, trouble breathing, a pounding heartbeat, nausea, or other intense symptoms. Social withdrawal and isolation may be a coping mechanism or an unfortunate result of serious anxiety. Someone may avoid situations that they know will bring on feelings of anxiety or panic, or they may be so overcome with anxiety that they are unable to maintain connections and they lose interest in activities they used to enjoy. Here are some tips to beating the post-Christmas blues. Make a plan. After the excitement of Christmas, going back to a regular mundane routine is enough to lure anyone's spirits. Exercise your funny bone. Laughter has been proven to be an extremely effective mood booster, releasing endorphins, which instantly raises spirits and gives a feeling of well-being. To help raise your spirits, download a funny movie or book and spend a few hours exercising laughter muscles. Mm -hmm. Brave your fears. If you're feeling listless and uninspired following the Christmas period, there is nothing guaranteed to energize you more than stepping out of your comfort zone and taking a risk. Make a commitment to do one thing a week or a day that makes you feel scared and takes you out of your comfort zone. Get active. Although feeling glum is unlikely to put you in the mood to exercise, getting up and active is actually one of the best things you can do. Exercise is not only releasing mood-boosting endorphins, but if weight gain is one of the things getting you down after the Christmas holiday, it will help you to quickly shift those excess pounds. Get out into the fresh air for a run, or try a spot of yoga or Tai Chi to help you to be in a better frame of mind. Watch what you eat. While it may be tempting to bury your sorrows under a pile of junk food, a healthy diet is actually more effective in helping you to feel good. So eat right. I hope today's daily thoughts on the holiday blues and how to get over them have been interesting and helpful to you guys. I've left additional information down in the description. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. I'll be back the next time with more daily thoughts. Until then, I offer you peace and blessings from the West Side. Please follow me on all my other social media. And until the next time, with more daily thoughts, I'm out of here, you guys. Peace!